on tour right now. And uh, we're always looking for things to play in the van, but also something to get far out too so we don't get too uh, in the zone, you know, something to take us out. A lot of our perspective on things for our songs go in different ways to like uh, bring in a, a, any kind of romantic concept into a song is very Twin Peaks inspired, for me anyways. It's kind of like a little bit far out, a little bit weird, a little bit dark. So this is perfect. I got the new Sea Feel record. I first heard Sea Feel, I was mixing a record a, a while ago and it had a lot of echo on this guitar part and every time we'd stop the tape, the echo would just keep going and it was just really infinite. And the engineer said, that's weird, every time we stop the tape it sounds like a sea feel record. And I was just thinking, God, that sounds a lot better than the music I'm making right now. This is Matt, Matthew Deere's uh, techno alias, Audion. And they have it's just the, the best artwork on these records, and these are really beautiful. Everything sounds like it's squashed. Every hit sounds like it's being squashed. At the same time, it's, it's melodic, though. It's, it's melodic. Of, yeah. He's a great songwriter, and that yeah. kind of comes through. Not, a lot, not enough people making dance music are, uh, know about song. Simple Minds, yeah. Sons and Fascination. I didn't know about early Simple Minds until until recently, but they're they're one of the best bands pre uh, Breakfast Club. Don't you forget about me. They're really rhythmic and are tough and like experimental. Really experimental, and they jam a lot too, which is really cool. Not 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 ever anything you would think of from that you know the hit from. Breakfast Club, but it's very, uh, very complex music, actually. This one is a CD that it got me into music when I was younger. Um, it's called Back Catalog, Front 242. It's amazing. I think it dangerous. I think it dangerous. A lot of people associate them with like really heavy driving industrial tracks. This is very different. It's very, it's slower, I feel. And there's a lot more space in the songs, and it's really pop, it, in, in a weird way, in a really weird way, but it is. Yeah, they weren't quite as angry yet. No, no, they weren't angry. They were very much about dancing with this one. So this is my little gem from high school. It was awesome. Um, I can imagine you in high school. Did you wear a, um, like a collar? No. No? That wasn't that cool. You weren't allowed to, probably. <laughs> I wasn't allowed. <laughs> to balance out our uh, David Lynch vacation, it's kind of hard not to only speak in Clark, Clark Griswold quotes <laughs> when you're on tour, especially when you're driving over the Mississippi River. It's just, it comes out. I think you're all fucked in the head. We're 10 hours from the fucking fun park and you want to bail out. Well, I'll tell you something. This is no longer a vacation. It's a quest. It's a quest for fun. I'm going to have fun, and you're going to have fun. We're all going to have so much fucking fun we'll need plastic surgery to remove our goddamn smiles. <laughs> and this is Wolfgang Voigt's project, Gas. This is called Naun Fern. It's very droney, very dense, beautiful, beautiful music. It sounds just like, um, like what goes on in your head right before you're gonna fall asleep. I also think it's just beautiful artwork, and I've always wanted this, so that's what I got. What does the cover mean? Does it have something specific in mind? When you make a, a record and you and it seems and the music seems totally complete, you know, and then suddenly it's time to make art for it, and there is, it just feels like you're pasting pictures on it. So it just seemed to make a lot more sense to make the art just come from the content that was already there. Yeah. It's right there. We made a symbol that means our music, that means the record, and 
now it will always have that meaning. Use in the untouchable.